Today on Songwriter Minute, we're taking a look at the hit song, Stay a Little Longer by Brothers Osborne. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Beard with Nashville Recording Studio, Beard Music Group. To stay current as a producer and arranger, I'm continuing my research of the top five hits on Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart. I'd like to share with you how today's hit songwriters structure their songs for the commercial country market. Today I'm breaking down the song Stay a Little Longer by Brothers Osborne. Guitar players should love this song because there's plenty of fine guitar work by John Osborne. When I bought this song, I was surprised at its length. It comes in at 535. No number one song has ventured past four minutes in the last couple years. There are almost three minutes of guitar solos on this record. There's the normal 20 second solo before chorus three, and then after the vocals end, the song plays on for another two and a half minutes. I do not recommend that you write songs over five minutes long. I don't recommend going over four minutes. But then I noticed that the vocals for this song end at two minutes and 55 seconds. And for radio and video, Stay a Little Longer was edited down to just 348. This is right in line with other current hits. It's interesting that the same three chords are used for the whole song. It's in the key of F sharp, but for the sake of discussion, let's pretend that you've tuned your guitar down a half step. This allows you to play the entire song using just G, E minor, and C. One way it stays interesting, in spite of having only three chords, is that the verse melody is sung much slower than the melody of the chorus. Even though the verse and chorus sections are the same length, the chorus has twice as many words. This gives it much more energy than the verse and keeps the song interesting to the listener. Try doing this with your own songs. Have fewer lyrics in the verse over the same amount of music, and then pick up the pace for the chorus. It works really well, and it helps give a song some really good dynamics. And actually, the reverse works well too, where the lyrics of the chorus stretch out a little, and then the verse has more lyrics. Here at our recording studios in Nashville, we record music for songwriters and artists from all over the world. As I'm writing the charts for these songs, I like to share with each writer some of the things I've learned from this research. But, as I always say, if your song brings you joy, it's a good song, case closed. I just look for ways to make good songs more commercial. Thanks for watching. If you found this information useful, we appreciate you liking, commenting, and sharing this video. And as always, you can learn more at beardmusicgroup.com and subscribe for more videos at youtube.com slash beardmusicgroup. See you next time. <laughs>